Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Obviously going for another face shave, you've seen what I'm using and what, what I've said that I'm going to use on my description as well. I sort of methodically picked these ones today, I think, I don't know. So I'm going to be using once again the Rockno. I'm going to use this pretty much exclusively for the next week or two, or two weeks all up pretty much before I send this back to Alan. And I found it actually quite a nice razor to use. Now, Alan has made me aware that the, the Rockwell 6C is roughly about 100 grams. This one comes in at 141 grams. The balance point of it, I'll try and do this without dropping it because that would be catastrophic. In fact, you know something, if I dropped it in my sink, I think it would just shatter my sink. So there is the balance point right there. So no hands. So the spot on it's pretty much just above center. As you can see, I'll see if I can get it to focus and it's a very nice razor it's very freaking heavy i'm just holding this in my hand just on that finger there and i can feel my shoulders starting to tire it might sound really wimpy of me but it really does it feels like that i couldn't use this as an everyday head shaver for sure but as a as a work of art a piece of a razor you would use every now and then or every second day it's certainly something i could use no problem at all it's pricey but you get what you pay for in my opinion when it comes to this sort of hardware Brushes are slightly different, you can put any knot that you love into any handle and it will still perform pretty much the same because the knot is the knot. But a razor, the way the head's designed, the way the blade angle is and the gap and everything like that makes a big difference. So, soap for today. If you guys watch your stallion, Anthony Esposito, he mentioned this in his shave, that he's got an old tub of this, one of the first tubs that Barrister the Man ever made. First snow, fur and leather. First thing, I get, it's a beautiful cool sort of scent. It's almost reminiscent of Barrister's Reserve Cool. I get that beautiful cool scent to it, but I think the cool that I get is the menthol. There is a bit of menthol in here, but I get fur and I get leather. It's probably the most basic and simple, but most. But it's a really nice scent. It's beautiful. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using a persona med prep today in the razor. It is built for feathers. I tried all sorts, I even tried the Voss Hod and, it, and it all, they all feel the same trying to push them down so I, I just took a chance on this one. I like this blade and just see how it feels compared to the feather. Brush for today, yeah that's right, I have went back to natural hair brushes. I'm mainly just trying to keep up with the Joneses you know because Alan over there has got, I sort of laughed that we were talking about brushes earlier and he was asking about good synthetics and he was talking about the the wolf whiskers list which has been quite two seconds all right i'm back yes yeah, so he was talking about synthetic brushes and the wolf whiskers list and how difficult it was to get on it recently so peter's obviously changed from wolf whiskers has changed this whole way of doing it you get on a list once a week 200 names and your name gets drawn randomly roughly 10 people per week which is brilliant it's going to work a lot better your chances of getting on are going to drastically improve because you can't get on that list again for another three months so i think that's a great move by peter and I think it's going to make a lot of people happy and everyone's going to have a much better chance of getting on the list. That being said, he was talking about it and he said, oh, I've already got a wolf whiskers. But I got I, I put a declaration in it, a declaration brush knot in it. And, I, and it sounded almost like, oh, it's, it's fucking shit. I put a declaration in my brush. And I was pissing myself when I read it. I thought, fucking hell, the guy's got a declaration, 30 mil declaration brush with a wolf whiskers handle. And he sounds a bit disappointed by it. But it assures me he's not, it is, it's absolutely brilliant, which I totally agree with. I think the declaration knots are tremendous knots. I was very lucky to try Spencer's before it was sent over to him, the one that he bought from OIV. Right, here we go. I think I'm losing a hair already. Stuff it straight into the soap. And as the stallion said in his shave, I'll just load it like you fucking ate it. So I've had a good day at work today. This weather's been beautiful, but we're expecting a bit of terrible weather over the weekend, a bit of rain on Sunday and Monday. So I'll be contacting a customer today just to find out whether she still wants us to come tomorrow, which will be Saturday. But she's got family coming over on Sunday. But the problem over here is, like I've mentioned before, it's very expensive to get your windows clean. 
sadly enough, if I wasn't a window cleaner, I couldn't actually afford to pay someone to clean my windows over here. I just don't have that sort of dis disposable income, unless it's for razors and brushes, of, of course. Right, I think this is pretty much loaded up beautifully. I definitely lost a hair there, I'm sure I did. Oh, this is a beautiful scent, it really is. Cold water shave. I did soak the brush in warm water for some reason, I don't really know why. I don't know why I soak in warm water. I don't think the fact that the water is warm or cold would make any difference with a badger because as I, as I have been told, I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not, but badger here doesn't actually absorb water. It just sort of retains it, it holds onto it. Let's scoop all this lovely goodness out of the bowl. It's a beautiful scented silk. It's a very simple scented silk and for, for Barrister man it's nice to have something like that where it's it does exactly what it says in the tin. You're not searching for all these complex scents that mingle together which make, still make a beautiful scent at the end of the day. But nine times out of ten with Barrister man there's very few soaps that I've got believe it or not that I can actually tell you really what I can smell. I just smell a, a stromash of scents all joined together that make a lovely overall scent, but it works really well. Let's paint this load on. So this is the Morrison Fondren, handmade in England, Blonde Badger, 20. it's a 28mm three band Blonde Badger, which sheds more hair than I've lost in my entire life, I think, on my own head. have been offered to send it back to Lee Sabini to have it re knotted but this knot is absolutely beautiful, it really is and I would be devastated to send it back even though it's shedding a lot to send it back to have another knot put in it and it not be as good anymore just dipping the tips It's just so dense, it's got beautifully soft tips, it's got amazing scrub and there's absolutely no scritch or scratch and nothing uncomfortable with this brush knot. And if you load a lot of soap into it, I find you can make an amazing lather with it as well. Flicking soap everywhere. Jesus. Right, brush is absolutely shock-a-block. The scent's amazing. I know the performance is going to be great, it always is. Let's talk about interruptions today. Right, the Rocknell Elite Titanium Coated with a brand new Persona Med Prep with the permission of Alan to squeeze it in here. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, 
Right, I reserved all judgment until the end of that first pass. That feels almost twice as good as the feather blade. <laughs> it feels so smooth. I'm really shocked by that. I, I thought because it was made for feather blade, the feather blade would be the one. It's the only one worth putting in it. Sauna med prep feels better, in my opinion. And I like feather blades, I, I got on well with them, so it's not a thing against the feather blade, I just think this feels better in this razor. Now this ladder, it's lovely. But it's not as good as the ladders I get from a synthetic. Right, pass number two across the green. I don't know whether you've tried different blades in this album. It'd be interesting to hear your feedback. Because as much as I got on well with feathers, I know you didn't, but now you can use it because of this razor. This to me, both the Persona Med Prep, takes this razor to a new level. And this isn't even my favourite blade, so whenever I move into the Nassets, I will try and Nasset in here as well. the right amount of menthol, this soap. It's just a nice cooling sensation, almost like when you come out of the shower and a cold breeze hits your face. That's what it feels like, it's lovely.
Right, cross the green other direction. Definitely smoother, it's more comfortable. And it already was smooth and comfortable, but it's more so. I just feel like I'm gonna get a bit of shaving. residual slickness now, just around my lips. Very smooth, very comfortable. The blade for me, it just, it's almost made for that reason. I can only imagine with an asset or a ruby, even which I don't have any left, it'd be even better. I'm really, I'm surprised and I'm a little bit disappointed. Disappointed in the fact that he's built this razor pristinely well to take feather blades. Essentially, it will take other blades. So obviously you've seen it. It does take other blades, but I'll show you now As I'm going into my lab, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pop some of this on first. Well, that's dry. I can get to the next bit um, I'm still recording. I can't see nothing there Right, so here we go. Humphreys lilac Which doesn't match the soap at all but I just fancy them a bit Right, so here we have the rock now. In fact, hold on a minute. I'll be back in a second. Oh, I thought I switched that off there, but I have <laughs> Is it still working? There we go, sorry about that. So we've got the rock now Elite Titanium. So take the handle off. Very long thread on this. Now, if you pop this bottom cap off, you'll see now that the blade is still pretty much wedged in there. Now, if I try and pull that down, see if I can get it to focus. You can see it still just wants to hook on there, it doesn't want to come down. So, what I found with it is if you hold it like that, and get both sides of the blade at the same time and just wiggle it a little bit it does help it come off a little bit so you can see the 
the blade gap on this side now, hopefully. You can see that bit of gap on the corner there, it has started coming down ever so slightly. And then what I sort of try and do without slicing my fingers off, is just ping it down on both sides. So this is a bit of a nightmare I have to say. So that's one side off. And that's, the, oh, well I pulled the other side off, the other side popped back on again. So there we go. So that's the blade off there. As you can see, so there's a bit of fidgeting to go, a bit of footering about, a bit of mincing about. Now, I hope these were here when you sent me it. I don't remember seeing them. But obviously with the blade being tight. This is obviously what you're gonna to, going to achieve on this. So if you can see the, just on this little post right here. See that shiny bit? That's what I was worried about with the blades, but I'm not sure whether Alan's actually tried blades on there again. I didn't actually notice that when I took the base cap off or the top cap off for the first time. So that's something that you will have to accept with this razor if you want to use different blades in it, that it will scratch that up a little bit. It's titanium coated, but over time, if you kept using tight blades in here, I would imagine over time it would eventually start wearing that little bit of that corner off the post and it would take blades probably quite snugly and comfortably. So, that being said, great razor, really well built, just built mainly for feather blades, unfortunately. Okay, so while that's drying in on my skin, I'm going to rinse the brush out. It's a lot of soap in that brush, but it releases the lather really well. It's such a dense, sort of stocky, short hat, short knot, it really releases the lather well. You know, guess what? I ran out of storage. I never do that. <laughs> Still rinsing this brush out. Right, let's have a look. I don't think... I could be cursing myself here, but I don't think I've lost the hair yet from this brush. I use it the exact same way pretty much every time. I load the same with the same force. I, I lather my face with the same force. I use the same technique on that towel there to actually dry it afterwards with the backwards and forwards motion. And sometimes I lose shitloads of hair and sometimes I don't. I haven't lost a single hair doing that today. But it's a beautiful brush. Super. I really enjoy the scent on this soap. I really do. I think we'd have to say it's one of my favourites. I think it's probably the Scotsman in me. It's got that sort of pine forest scent to it. With the menthol and the leather just, just really brings it all out. Set that to the side. So the soap for today was Barrister Man First Snow. It's a stunning soap, it really is. I love it. I mean that label is just shit hot. Beautiful label, beautiful package and these tubs that he uses are great. New Barrister and Man tallow shaving so if you want to have a look at the ingredients I'll just put them up there. But yeah, beautiful. It's a tallow soap, glycerin. What else we got? Coconut milk, fruit. I mean, it's just full of good stuff. It really is. A little bit of menthol at the end there. Hydrolyzed silk protein. It's just beautiful. Great set of ingredients. 
very well blended scent. That feels great just with that Humphreys, but I'm going to finish off just with a little bit of Nivea Men sensitive cooling moisturiser, just a little touch. Just about that much there, which isn't a lot. Is it as good as artisan balms? No, it's really not. I don't find really any of the stuff I've got is. I do have some really good products, but uh, excuse me, specifically geared towards certain things like the Cool Fix from Shaveworks. It's pretty much geared towards healing your skin, but also helping with ingrown hairs. It works. It's great stuff. It's things like buggery if you've had a shit shave as well. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is me done and dusted. Another wonderful shave using a wonderful razor. The Rock No Titanium Elite. Just as it is a well made razor, I can't argue with it. It's just a bit heavy for me. <laughs> That's the only thing. I'm looking forward to trying some new blades in it though, some different style blades. Some sharp, some not so sharp, some smooth, some not so smooth. And just see how it feels and how, how it works over the next week or so. And once again, just a thanks to Alan for sending it over. He has actually offered to send me over another razor when this one goes back that I've actually been looking at getting myself. So that may happen, it may not happen. We'll see what happens. You might get this razor back and think, fuck, I nearly scratched all my fucking posts here. There's no way I'm sending him another razor. What a fucking prick he is. But he did say I could use it. He did tell me to put a different blade in it. I just hope it's not me that's done that to your post. I just spat everywhere there. I just hope it's not me that's done that to the post. But other than that, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. I'm getting more and more used to this razor. I am starting to enjoy that bit extra weight, that bit of quality in your hands that you don't get generally from a cheaper end, cheaper made razor. But I think next time I'll put this one up against the Merg Rest and just see how it holds up. Thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers. <laughs>